For those of you who are just joining us, Callie actually ran off to do a, what do we call that? In, a, an in-person, in the, in the stage, you know, in the studio kind of a remote interview. We call it a remote. Okay, anyway, Callie went to do a remote interview. I am here, and actually, I have a guest. It's Eli from Audio Experts. It is, Eli Herrera. Nice to meet nice you, to meet sir. You. Thanks for having me. I, uh, Callie asked me if I wanted to go do the remote or if I wanted to stay here with you, and I said I wanted to stay because, as I understood it, you have, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say this for effect, Bamboo speakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd say that's certainly part of what the products are made okay, of. Okay, yeah. And, and, not not, a, not totally. Not completely, but it's also a very important part of what the products are about. Because one of the things that we wanted to do with the Audio Experts brand was to deliver unique audio solutions. The, the teams made up of people that have been in the audio business for nearly 300 years. Wow. So we've been around for a long time yeah. in different companies. And the goal was to do products that really were, you know, different, unique. That's and one of those features that you chose to focus on was sustainability, yeah, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the product lines actually is called EVA, which stands for Environmental Audio. And one of the things that we wanted to accomplish was to develop a great audio product that actually was environmentally friendly, which is part of where the name EVA comes from. Gotcha. Environmental Audio. And in, and in order to do that, we had to choose, you know, aside from all the audio technical parts, we needed to choose materials that in fact were sustainable or environmentally friendly. So it was kind of a challenge. What does yeah. that mean? What can we what kind of materials can we use? We wanted to avoid standard plastic materials. And the outside of the product, we had the ability to choose something that was kind of fun and very environmentally friendly, which is bamboo, natural, real bamboo, and wool grill. So woven wool. That's amazing. So let's talk a little bit about, I, I mean, I see you've got some products here. I've actually got the close-up camera. Okay. So uh, this is our EVA Blue. EVA Blue. Uh, which is just BLU. And our EVA 400, which is a, a full clock radio that also has Bluetooth streaming and a USB audio input so that you can charge and use your iOS device. Cool. Um, they both they both use the new AppDex codec for the very best uh, Bluetooth streaming quality. Um, this one is fully portable. It's got a lithium-ion battery built into it. How and long, as you how can long see, will it uh, will it last? It, the battery it'll go about six hours, depending on how much bass you want to play. Yeah, it, you know, it can that'll vary the time. And how big of an amp does it have? How much? It's power? actually got 15 watts RMS. Oh wow! Per, per channel. Per channel. So there's a 30 watt amplifier. It'll get loud. Inside. It plays. It plays surprisingly loud. Yeah. All right. Hard to demonstrate over a video camera, but yeah, a little it, bit. It plays surprisingly loud. So one of the things that I thought was interesting was this choice of bamboo. Now, if we look here, the bamboo is it's it's beautifully rounded. It's very smooth. It's very soft. Okay, um, but you couldn't just inject it into that shape the way you know no, the, it's the not plastic injected. ones they just make a mold they squeeze right. it out bingo right. bingo no this is a bamboo that's sanded i mean are you putting it through a milling machine or what how do you actually get it well, into this shape you, you start with the veneer strips is straight okay um and actually the thickness of the veneer is pretty much what you're seeing at where the cuts are okay and then after it's been um you know cut to straight we actually put it through sanding machines that give it the, the style finish that we want. And so, I mean, are you telling me these are being manufactured by hand, or are they? Um, is do you have a process? The How sanding process is pretty much done by hand, um, so it does take time. And part of the cost of the product is the fact that it's made out of real bamboo. Yeah. Um, and so that requires some extra hand work. Um, but it's you know the internal parts of the product are actually. Uh, built around a new starch-based material that is Whoa. functions like plastic, but it's fully recyclable material. So inside so the bamboo, there's kind of a frame inside. Inside here. the bamboo, inside the veneer, there's actually a kind of a normal-looking electronics part that sits within a, a starch-based polymer material. Interesting. And uh, fully biodegradable and stuff? Fully, fully biodegradable. And we've done some other kind of fun things. Um, you know, usually 
people are used to having to push down switches to make things work. Yeah. Uh, all of the EVA product, in fact, many of our other products, use capacitive touch controls. So how do you do that? Because I notice, I mean, you've got buttons on wood. That doesn't, I mean, how That's does it. that work? There's, at the, behind this panel, there's actually cut out spaces for the capacitive touch electronics. And the wood conducts it. There's enough space between huh. the wood and the electronics to allow for the capacitive touch buttons to work. That's fascinating. And then, you know, just to have some fun, we built in a kind of a handle in the back of it. Nice. So just in case you wanted to use two of them, you could do that. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's a lot of cool portable devices out there, but you don't know how to carry them around. Yeah, that's that's very nice. And I like the little, the little ridges here yeah, uh, we, just for your finger grips. Now I also see you've got an optical, a digital optical input, and we you've do. got an auxiliary input. Yep. So we can connect to this with Bluetooth, or we could wire into it. You can, right? You can also use something like an Airport Express if you want. If oh. You wanna, if you want to come out of your, your computer, your computer, your uh, iTunes system. Yep. You can use an Airport Express, hook it into the optical input, and stream whatever content you want to. it. Talk to me a little bit about, you said the grill is made of wood? I it, mean, wool? wool. It's it is, made of wool? It is pure, 100% unmessed with <laughs> woven wool. So you guys just are buying a... Woven wool. Wool <laughs> on the roll, right? and you cut it and... and well, and we did have to have, we had to have the thickness made to our specification. Right. Because the wool would stop a lot of the high frequency. Yeah. And, and you have you know, to get an extra thin kind right, of? Yeah. The first thing we are is we're an audio company. We yeah. like to make great sound. So we've had to design the wool cloth that we buy large reams of yeah. to be thin enough to pass high frequency without a problem. Got it. And this speaker has got two woofers in it, two tweeters, and a passive radiator in the middle. So there's a, a lot of activity going on yeah. inside this thing. Let's talk about the other one. So the other one is a clock radio. It's a full clock radio with one of my favorite features. Old school looking. It is. But it's not old school, but it's old school looking. Yeah, it's kind of a classic, yeah. cool design. Yeah. And, you know, that was one of the objects is we wanted to make, you know, there's lots of square rectangle boxes out there made out of various kinds of plastic and fake woods and stuff like that. We wanted to create something that was warm and friendly. This is funny. I see sitting up here on the top, it says snooze. Right. You want to know where the snooze is? Is that the snooze button? It's this whole pad is the snooze button. The whole thing? You mean so, so I just go like this? Actually, uh. actually, more likely what you do is you wake up uh. a little upset about having to wake up. Yeah. And instead of having to hit a little button this big to yeah. go back to sleep, you just reach over and smack just the whole thing. whack it. You whack it, and it goes back to sleep. That's awesome. And yep. again, the connectivity. There's a, quite a bit of connectivity. Now There's we got a, a lot more going on here. Right, we have a USB audio input. Okay. So you can plug in your iPhone, iPad, i whatever. Uh huh. We have an auxiliary input. Uh huh. Um, and we've also got a second optical audio input. And you've got a headphone output. We do. What would people use that for with a we, clock radio? Well, let's just say that this happens to be sitting on my nightstand. Uh -huh. And Kathy's gone to sleep. Ah, uh, yes, okay. And I want to listen to music. Gotcha. I have one way I can do, well, two ways. Yeah. I could knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you could go to the other room. room. Exactly. Well, I could go to the other or room. Or you could put your headphones on. Exactly. Okay. And now this also has something called Link. What is a Link? It, uh, the Link is for upgrades, USB upgrades. So you can upgrade like the software? If there's, yeah, if there are firmware upgrades that we develop over time, you can just plug in a, a mini USB input and do firmware upgrades. Interesting. So it's, you know, it's a, it really is a full featured clock radio and there's, with this product. Is this for an antenna? So it's, it's got an FM tuner? It's got an FM tuner. In Europe, it's got a DAB plus tuner. Uh-huh. Um, so the, there's also for the these two models, the 400 and 300, there's an optional uh, companion product so that you can turn this into a real live stereo by having one product oh. six or eight or nine feet away from the other product. Yep. And there's a little switch that allows you to choose left, oh, right, stereo, or mono. right, mono, left. I see, okay. Oh, and that's what this link. Uh, this gave. link allows you to that hook one. up to that other speaker. Okay. Right. Awesome. Tell me about pricing and availability on these. Um, $499, $399. This product will be available at the beginning of August. This will be available at the end of September. And the companion matching? Same time. Same time as this. And pricing? Uh, 249 and 349 Okay. Um, ah, 
that's about it. It's I, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Where are you guys making them, by the way? Uh, the products are made in China. In China, okay. Yep. Uh -huh. So you had to go over there and line up the factory, and you showed up. You showed up, and you were like, uh, "We want you to make something unlike anybody else has ever made." Well, I, you know, I've been doing this for about 25 years. Yeah, and have a lot of good friends there. Okay, China. good. All right. And so, you know, being able to give them the specification and them going. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> but then when you get past that, and then when you get past that, and then you start it's figuring out how to do it. Right, exactly. Excellent. So. Well, they're really very unique, very attractive. I like them a lot. Um, I have not heard them yet, so I would love to actually hear them in operation sometime. We can do that for you. That'd be great. And then, uh, you know. You said August is when people are going to be August. Able to August for the 400 models, for yep. the standard models, and end of September for Eva Blue. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for showing My me pleasure. those. I appreciate the time. And